morning, everyone. I am coming to you on my way to church. I think I might be on time today. Anyways, um, I have on Peacock today, kind of, sort of. I have on paparazzi scarfed and gold on today. I don't know if you can really pick it up, but um, this is what I have on. And again, it's scarfed from paparazzi with the gold earrings. Um, I try to play down my eye makeup a little bit, but it seemed like something is too much. But this is coming from a girl who's always in silver. Um, I rarely wear gold. Um, so anyways, um, excuse my makeup a little bit. Uh, the look of the day, excuse it. I'm a little tired. Um, anyways, uh, this is the look. Like I said, I'm heading to church. Um, I should be on time, <laughs> hopefully. I don't have my kids today. But um, on today, uh, just find a church home. If you're in the Tulare area, come to Living Christ Church. Uh, anywhere, anywhere, just get there. And just go in expecting. Go in anticipating hearing a word, hearing a song, hearing whatever it is that God needs to get your attention. Um, I'm kind of thinking about some things on this morning, and one thing that kind of got to me was not allowing the enemy to prevent me or stop me from going to church. And so, whatever the case may be, I want to make sure that, you know, I head to church no matter what. And sometimes I understand, you know, aches and pains, sickness, or whatever the case may be. But the enemy would love to keep God's children out of church, um, out of the fellowship amongst the brethren. That's what the enemy would love to do. And gradually you'll find yourself not being in there. There's times, you know, even this past year where I was literally just hitting and missing and I was exhausted. It was like, like pastors say, those sheets, uh, those sheets like literally held me down, you know, and when they held me down, I couldn't get up. So those sheets don't have that much power. But I understand, too, I'm the first one to say, I was talking to a young lady in my office yesterday, and we were just talking, and I mean, goosebumps and chills and just the presence of the Lord was in there. And one thing that I said was, you know, life hits us. Life hits us with an untimely blow with the blow that we don't even see coming, that we don't even expect. And uh, the young lady was telling me about some things that she was going through. And I was like, I hear you. I hear you. I am not super saved, nor am I super perfect to sit up here and say, oh, just shake it off and put it over in God's hands and you know, all this other stuff. Nope, I am not that one. Because I have experienced life in the worst way or what I thought was the worst way and um, the blows I've experienced church hurts um, loss I mean you name it you name it I haven't been through everything but I can understand we run we run and I I'm so quick to run it's not even funny I don't even wear tennis shoes hardly. I don't even own a pair of socks. But you let something hit me, uh, I might run and retreat and try to, you know, lick my own wounds, take care of my own self. Um, and, and sometimes I know me too because I know that if I'm going through something, half the time I don't even want to be bothered. You have messy people that come to you and all they're wanting to do is find out information all they're wanting to do is get that information and run and tell somebody. 
all they want to do is see how you looking. Sometimes people are not genuinely concerned about you. And I realize that. I have. But to God be the glory, even when we hit and miss, even when we no show and no call and all this other stuff, you know, that's what my girl, Miss Nikki, does. She has a no call, no show policy. But God, even when we no show, he is still with us. And I've cried. I've, I've wallowed. I've said, woe is me and all this other stuff. But let me tell you, God has always been there. Always. So I am at church. I see other people are pulling up. So it's not like I'm the only one today. And so um, anyways, be blessed. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans of good and not of evil, plans to give you an expected end. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We shall, I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Find somebody that you like or dislike, whatever, or don't like you, and give them a hug. My head is itching. I ain't gonna do all of that. I'll be all up in there just scratching. But anyways, let me stop because, you know, I'm looking like a furry chia pet, little afro going on. But love you guys. All right, God bless. Bye.